Hey guys, what's going on? Ken Raiders for Raider Sports here. Before I begin, I just want to say it's bugging me, so maybe it bugs you if you're a longtime watcher of this channel, that the hat rack that used to be back here between the uh, Northwestern and the uh, Miami Dolphins poster, it fell while I was doing the, uh, while I was working on my XFL uh, draft coverage. So it has been bugging me all day. So if the setup looks weird, that's why at least it looks weird to me so maybe it might look weird to you but that's exactly why I feel like it looks weird okay guys let's get into this the first of first we had the blues last year we had the XFL inaugural uh draft today and now we have the first ever world series appearance for the Washington Nationals as they sweep the St. Louis Cardinals, four games to zero. The Nationals has have never trailed in this entire series, and they have done it. They are going to the World Series, and they are doing it without the $325 million man, Bryce Harper, who got left, who left them cold and seemingly in the dust, and everybody's like, oh my God, the Nationals are going to be so bad. And they were early in the season. And then like the Blues for the NHL last year, they flipped the switch, turned it around, won the wild card, beat the Dodgers. And now here they are sweeping the Cardinals. And they are now four games away from being world champions. Oh, the people you leave behind, Bryce Harper. And now I almost hope that the Yankees do actually somehow beat the Astros. I mean, it would just bookend this if the Nationals can beat the Great Empire after losing the hero and still being, you know, and still being as good. And I said, I said, I will leave leave it here. You guys can, I'll leave the card here. You guys can click on it for reference. I said, the Nationals, we're not going to miss Bryce Harper as much as everybody was freaking out. They did a little bit in the beginning. But they get, but they righted the ship. The pitching got got better, and here they are, four games away from being world champions. And Bryce Harper is doing the same thing I am, you know, sitting at his house watching baseball. My my my, how Shakespearean! But that's the way the cookie crumbles, man. So congratulations, Nationals. Now the Astros are up 2-1, to one, and I really do think the Astros are, are the better team. I've been saying Astros all year. So I'm really having to ride with that. So I'm saying Nationals against uh, Astros. But now there's a little bit part of me that almost wants the Yankees, even though I'm a White Sox fan. And I don't like New York teams. And I hate the Jets. And I hate the Giants. But something just makes this feel like it has to be the Yankees. Just to make it perfect. So Nationals over Yankees or Astros can just, you know, wipe the floor with the Nationals and be done with it. But either way, you guys, congratulations to the Washington Nationals. Hopefully, you know... This is that year if they play the Yankees, or they get swept out and make it quick if they play Houston. But congratulations to, you know, Max Scherzer, who's finally at the level I think he's fuck, And Steven Strasburg, who has finally come out and played an entire season and really just has taken his game up to the next level in this postseason. So those two guys, I'm sure, are just embracing the spotlight right now. So guys, this is Ken Raider, signing out.